السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته is a nice question to ask and so many brothers and sisters suffering from it Muslims and non-Muslims question is what is OCD simple answer OCD Shaitan is making your life difficult either you are keep changing your clothes feel like dirty some people I have patients they keep rinsing the clothes they feel oh, dirty dirty and some people they keep check the locks keep check the cookers keep check the door did I lock or not keep checking you have to walk you have to walk this way if you done you have to keep this way if you have to keep this, keep this way. You gotta keep cleaning your hands. Or go in the toilet, clean yourself a lot. There are different types of OCD. All caused by Shaitan, making your life difficult. Shaitan is telling you that you are not clean. Do this, do that to you, to making your life difficult. Alhamdulillah, I have a lot of people, they stop OCD by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only thing you need to understand, this is not only waswas, this is jinn advising you. It's more than waswas, not only waswas, waswas, you are rejected, you know this. When you reject this, you're not clean, the shaitan will say, maybe... Oh, I, I'm clean you, if you say Shaitan will say no no you touch over there maybe you're not clean maybe this was uh, someone asked a teaspoon or this or cattle or someone asked her with dirty hands so always check and shubhat Shaitan calls the person dots and the dots and the dots and the dots and telling you what to do in your life you should not listen to Shaitan you should listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah Azza wa Jal has given us the right to choose good thing from Allah the bad from Shaitan we all know Shaitan want to waste the time I have people I went to drill them eight hours in the bathroom keep cleaning the hands and for a long time keep standing in the room because why you are there but the Shaitan is speaking to you you have to stop speaking to Shaitan you have to come back to the reality you have to listen only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan is trying to judge you. Only judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to remember that. Then you have to obey Allah in your life. Qalu sami'na wa ata'na. We hear. We obey to Allah. We don't obey to Shaitan. This way. When you are doing treatment, be it by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ruqya, and listening the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how much you become strong, shaitan become weak. And remember, your weakness is the strength of your enemy. Because shaitan tells you that you are weak, you can't do that anymore. Shaitan tells you that you have to clean it, you earn satisfaction. Shaitan makes you not satisfied. So when you understand this is not me, this is a shaitan, then by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you won't have any waswas. You don't understand this is shaitan telling me. Not only waswas, this is shaitan telling me, shaitan advising me. I will not listen to shaitan, enemy of Allah, because treat the enemy of Allah like enemy of Allah. Inna shaitan al insani adumu bina fattakhidhu aduwa. Indeed, the shaitan is your enemy, take him as enemy. Jazakumullahu khairan. And you will never suffer from most you need. Jazakallah khairan.